Hi Darkroom Software friends, this is Eugene with Darkroom Software. In this quick video I want to show you a brand new application that we're releasing. It's called Darkroom Hot Folder. It's a small utility that runs in the background and what it does is it monitors a folder whenever an image gets placed into that folder it will automatically print. The really cool thing about this application is it's simple and easy to use. Let's go ahead and get started. If I double click on the icon on my desktop, I can click on settings and it's letting me know that it is running in the background at this point. It's monitoring by default a folder on your C drive that the software creates by itself. If you would like to change this folder, you can. You would just browse to a different folder, then exit the application and open it back up so it reinitializes with the new folder. The next on our list is the um, printer options. Um, and like I said, it's very easy. If you're using a directly supported printer, like my DS40 that I have connected, as soon as the printer is turned on and connected, it'll automatically detect it and also detect the media inside the printer. So I have 5x7 media and uh, Darkroom Hot Folder has um, recognized that it has 5x7 media. So at this point, all I have to do is drag an image into this folder and it'll automatically print. And we'll go ahead and let it print uh, just so, and then I'll turn it off so you can hear it a little bit better. Go ahead and turn off the printer. But here's the image that just printed out. It was that easy. If you don't have a directly supported printer, you can use a Windows printer. You would just check this option right here and then choose your printer. The next on the list is the, uh, the print settings. You can um, choose how many copies will be printed when an image is dropped in. So you can have it print more than one copy or also uh, cut to 2x6. If you're, let's say, using an application that doesn't have printing built into it, this is a good companion software to those type of applications. And if you need, you can also force cut it. The uh, next on the list is Event Gallery. So this is another um, partner that we've kind of rolled out together where you can upload to your uh, Darkroom Event Gallery site and share your images online. Um, to do that, all you would have to do is log into your event gallery, go to settings, and then API, and copy the key. And under setupeventgallery.com, you would then paste in your API key and click OK. And now you're linked up with Darkroom Event Gallery from Darkroom Hot Folder. Um, you would check the option to upload to gallery and then select the gallery name. And we have two more options. One is uh, run when Windows starts. So what, by checking this, every time you start up Windows, it'll automatically start up Darkroom Hot Folder and automatically be monitoring. Whenever an image goes in, it'll print. You don't have to think about it. You don't even have to turn it on. It's a set it and forget it type of thing. And we also have hide startup notifications. So right down here, we'll go ahead and click OK to hide the settings, but it is still running. I can see that it's still running in the background. If I right click on it, I can also go to um, show print queue and see previous jobs, or if uh, it's working and it's the end of the night and I'm waiting to see how many more prints I have to go, before I can go home, you can look at pending jobs and watch the queue clear itself, and that uh, when it's done, you can pack up and go home. Um, one last thing that I want to show you is, let's say you have and this is just an example of how this might be used. You're using Darkroom Booth and you're printing your 
two by six images and uploading to event gallery from darkroom booth you can also use copy originals set to go to that same folder and what that would do is darker booth would handle this and then it would send it to the hot folder and this would then print the originals one copy of each one and upload the originals to darkroom event gallery so that's just an idea how this might work um, i hope this has been helpful thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time